I might be in the minority here, but I am not really digging the new design of the Mighty Strike Freedom Gundam. It looks too similar to the Freedom Gundam of old that we know and love with the addition of the backpack and katana. So I'm not too sure if I'm going to be getting this particular kit. Coming in at less than 3,000 yen, that sweet, sweet spot that Bandai wants to lure you in to buy this particular kit. Now, what is surprising is that Bandai actually announced that there's going to be plated parts for the gold and silver with this particular kit, which is surprising because you don't really see that very often for a kit that's coming in at under 3,000 yen. So if this is something that right up with Ellie, I think you should definitely pick it up. But for me, I think I'll be skipping this particular kit. What is also surprising is that this kit is actually coming out in May 2024. A month later than the Gyan Storm that's coming out in April. So that is a little bit surprising because I thought this kit would actually come out first before the other antagonist unit. I'm assuming it's antagonist because I've not watched the movie yet, just like the rest of you. But Bandai do promise that there's gonna be better articulation for the legs and also for the wrist of the Mighty Strike Freedom as well. So if this is Something that you want, I think you should get it. The only redeeming part of this particular kit is the double blade building pose that if I buy this kit, that is probably how it's going to stay in this plate in my cabinet. The one kit that I think that probably has the most promise of all the kit announced today is the Gyan Strom. The Agnes Gyan Ben Ruff Custom looks pretty cool. And I think for some reason, probably the designers had a lot more freedom and courage to go a little bit crazy with this particular mobile suit so i do think that this kit has a lot more things loaded a lot more special effect parts as well and also it probably looks a lot more fun to play and pose with given that this kit is coming in at 3190 yen slightly more expensive but you do get a lot more equipment special effect parts and also weapons so i think this is something that you would probably want to get especially the very cool gatling gun hidden beneath its chest. That's something that I think I've not seen before in a Gundam franchise universe. So yeah, for me, this is probably the most promising kit out of all that's been announced today. So I may be biased, but frankly speaking, the Money Strike Freedom and the Infinite Justice Gundam Type 2, yeah, looks too much like the old. The designers just did not have the courage to experiment or push the envelope a little bit further. Now, the High Grade Infinite Justice Gundam is coming out as well. And again, pretty much nothing new. It looks quite similar to the older design with the addition of a backpack. And this kit is coming in at 3080 and also a little bit more expensive than the Mighty Strike Freedom. Bandai also promised that they're going to give us silver coated parts for this particular kit. So again, a very big surprise. Maybe Bandai knows that, you know, if they're not going to give out any special coated parts and they just rely on stickers, they're going to piss off a lot of fans, especially given that the design is pretty much remaining the same with a little bit of evolution from the original design. So, well, there's supposed to be better articulation on the knee of the Infinite Justice, so that remains to be seen. But what is cool, there is a lot of special effect parts that you can replicate here. Just like the Gyan Strom. So, that is one of the other cool Thing about this particular kit but other than that to be very frank i am not really digging the new design of the infinite justice gundam type 2 or the mighty strike freedom gyan strong i think is probably one of the better new refreshing design that i think fans really wanted to see given that it is january 2024 you probably have a big fat bonus waiting for you given to you by your generous employer you might want to splash on the chogokin mighty strike freedom gundam coming in in july quarter three this year 36,300 yen it definitely does look a lot better and a tons more detail and obviously because this being a chogokin you know i do dig the overall proportions. I think Chogokin releases so far have not really disappointed me that much. But yeah, from the official photos, you can tell that the goal that they are using for the Mighty Strike Freedom Chogokin release, the goal is a little bit too light for my liking. In fact, it's a little bit lighter than even the Phoenix high grade kit that we've seen in retail. So I'm not too sure why that is, but ah. Uh, 
it is what it is, I suppose. Well, if you're a big fan of Chogokin releases, I think this is probably something that you want. I think the trade-off is, you know, even though the gold color is not as deep and dark as I wanted it to be, it does seem to be a lot more chrome polish. So you will have that effect going out for you, okay? Now, there is one premium Bandai release that got lost in all these four releases announced today, and that is this new clear color kit. I'm not too sure how many of you love clear color kits, but an upcoming high-grade Destiny Gundam Spec 2 is coming out very, very soon. The funny thing is that they never tell us when or the price. So I'm actually quite surprised, but I really dig the smoky parts that's been used for this particular kit. That's something that I'm actually looking forward to, but unfortunately this being a premium bandai, I suppose we will have to wait a little while for it to be released. So that's all the release coming up from bandai this day, today, right? As we mentioned late last year, a lot of it is going to be focused on Seed. 2024 is the year of Seed Gundam. Do let me know which particular release really gravitate towards you're going to be spending your money on or you're going to be doing a pre-order. Let me know. For me, I think the only one that I'm quite keen on is the Gyan. Check me out. I, I don't know. But let's see what you guys think about the releases and my commentary. Till then, if you guys are new to our channel, you know what to do for the rest of you. Let's chat at the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and hit the like and subscribe button.